feel the power of the flames. All hail the queen of fire. Welcome to another Zero Gravity Endurance. Be sure to watch the whole video. Smash that like button. Burn the subscribe button. Destroy the notification bell. And leave a pleasant comment down below to tell me if you enjoyed this video or not. Hope you liked the new intro because uh, I'm no longer Blue Team Antrock Gamer 27. I am now, it might sound crazy, but I have changed not only the intro, but the YouTube channel name to the Queen of Fire because, as I mentioned, I have a deep love with Blaze. So if you were wondering about the, the new intro, well, there it is. So, tonight, we're going to be doing 45 lap, the, the, the other endurance of the kingdom places or whatever. It's going to be Sonic this time. So it's only 45 laps, it's going to be, I would assume, would be just a little bit shorter or maybe just about the same length. I don't know, let's get to it. So how I'm going to determine the halfway point is when I complete lap 27. I will end the video and then I will resume and finish the race in the second part. So yeah, I hope you guys like the new intro. It, it took me a couple hours to think of because I had a hard time right, with the intro. So yeah. And by the way, this YouTube channel name is Staying Forever. And I changed my profile picture again. So yeah. Let's get this thing under. Wait, I don't know why it took so long. Oh yeah, that Billy Hatcher. So I hope you like it. I just got another subscriber today. I'm at 31. I'm doing well. I got another follower today. 28. Thank you. Please do follow me on Twitter. It's no longer a Hatcher fan. 27. Oh, I cannot speak tonight. It is no longer Hatcher Fan 27. It is Burning Blaze 27. I was gonna put some uh, pretty weird names. Best that I do not tell you. They are. And just one of the most recent things that I thought of, like about 10 15 minutes. Maybe a little longer than that. Before I started this, I had a picture in my mind of Blaze holding a freaking machine gun. Yeah, now that's gonna make my heart eyes water. And my heart burn. And make me feel like I'm really happy. Because if you didn't know, actually, I don't know if I mentioned this. Uh, she has a very cold personality, which uh, a lot of the traits she has are very similar to me. I can be pretty uh, cold sometimes. I'll make a video just back based on her, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I mean when we get to that one. I do have more videos planned for tomorrow. I, uh, hopefully I listen to myself. I have some videos Friday and a video on Sunday, and the video on Sunday is going to be Billy Hatcher's dad. And, sorry Billy Hatcher, but, um, I don't know if I also said this, but, um, Blaze is my new number one all-time favorite, and forever will be, because she is the love of my dreams. Uh... But Billy Hatcher is still awesome, I will still like him. His, his video game will still stay number one forever. And he will be number two of my all time favorites or video game characters. Trust me, number three isn't even close to as good as Billy Hatcher. But actually, it was kind of a hard one. I. Blaze is just a little bit better than Billy Hatcher. She ain't much better, she, but she is better. But as far as terms of Sonic characters, she's easily my number one. 
Uh, I do have the top five memorized in my head, but not the last five. Blaze, of course, number one. Ray is two. Shadow is three. Metal Sonic is four. Dr. Eggman is five. I do not remember. I think number six was Knuckles. Uh, I do not know who the others were. And somebody replied back to me and showed them their top ten list. And then, of course, they had to put Movie Sonic or Teen Sonic, number one. And Sally Acorn, number two. I would have never thought of that. I, I really would have never thought of that. But, I mean, I feel like she does get hated sometimes. I mean, not all the time, but sometimes. And trust me, trying to find a good profile picture for my YouTube channel and my Twitter page was extremely hard. I found at least nine or more pictures of Blaze that I really loved. Some were kind of funny, some were pretty funny, and some were pretty sick. It was pretty difficult. So, yeah. I'll get to more information on Blaze when I make that one video, which will probably be at least two or three weeks from now. It'll be in the month of April. And uh, also, another thing. Oh, my test drive unlimited playthrough is like very close by. We're, we're, we're almost there. Mm. Boy, I can't wait. Four times I've beaten that game, and I'm still going on. I'm still going strong, I should remotely say. But yeah, lots of things have changed. I originally, for the intro, wanted to try, and try to impersonate Blaze's voice, but I tried that like two or three times bef just before I started recording, and it would be way too embarrassing, so I decided to go with a very serious voice, because she is very serious. So, yeah. Now that I got that out of the way, we can focus on the race. I am catching Billy, who is... Gotta be the slowest one! As always. Except he wasn't at Crimson Crater. He was the best one at Crimson Crater. 99 laps, Crimson Crater. Did that a couple days ago, and finished second. Uh, and I played as Shadow. Weirdly enough, Silver and Storm both got stuck, but somehow managed to figure out a way to get off, uh, like, unstuck. Magic! What is it? <laughs> and more info on my Grand Chisholm 4 status. I did another endurance race today. The super speedway 150 miles is incredibly easy, it took me less than an hour, it's the shortest endurance race in the game, it's extremely easy, I can go 25 laps on a set of tires out of 100, uh, freaking Camaro hit it once, he almost, he made just about 50 flipping laps, or 50 laps, he would not hit again. Well, I did lap him like 19 times, so... <laughs> and I lapped like... Who finished second? There was... A snowball. Um, the R390 GT1. Finished fifth. Camaro finished last because the wall was slow. Salber Mercedes C9, I don't remember where he finished. The R89 C and the R92 CP. I don't exactly know where they finished, but I won by three laps. And boy, was that burning off fuel. Immediately. But yeah, I'm fortunate that Blaze is not here. Let me get my mind off of him for a little bit. Blit. Little bit. So I've been watching a lot of funny an uh, animations by Sasso Studios. Go check them out. Oh, uh, 
I enjoy every single one of them. Oh my gosh, I was dying of laughter. Like, this one was definitely my favorite. Where they all had YouTube channels, or, uh, or Knuckles was pranking Shadow. And Shadow was watching Amy's YouTube channel, which uh, was like, uh, like makeup. And uh, I wanted to cry my eyes out. It was so funny. Shadow was like, this is the ultimate. Uh, <laughs> shoot, I forgot it. Uh, Oh, I don't remember. Man, I I forgot it. Dang it, that really sucks. It's really f anyway. It's really funny and it made me crack up. Maybe I'll think of it uh, later in this race. I think it was. This is the ultimate makeup tutorial. I was like, okay, I think that's what it is. So I'm gonna try and do my best to say how I said it, but. By the way, these are the actual characters because they were actually voice actors. Ready? Go. This is the ultimate makeup tutorial. I wanted to laugh my eyes out so bad. And it was a pranking. And then when Knuckles got spotted, he got uh, shot at by a Shadow's Chaos Spear. It was really hilarious. No, I forgot to jump. How dare you. Don't mind that little thing that I just did. But yeah. I mean, there's been a lot that I've not really so called accomplished, but on my YouTube channel. And my Twitter, I mean, yeah, 20 followers, and 31 subscribers, go subscribe to my YouTube channel, and uh, follow me on Twitter. Oh yeah, Tails. Oh yeah, I did 99 laps of Mobius Strip, I was playing as Blaze, of course. I got hit by Sonic. Don't worry, it really wasn't that bad. I mean, all it just did was turn me to the right and just put me to the left. Like, I recovered in like two seconds. It was a very short recovery time, but hey, I managed to get it. And it looks like that Amy is the Amy thing. For the AI. So, yeah. Also, do check out all my other videos. Uh, please check out everything. Ready? Go. I also changed the description thing under my YouTube channel. And I and I said this is the hottest YouTube channel the hottest channel on YouTube. And to burn the subscribe button. Like, I actually watched a video on a rating of, like, from good to evil. And Blaze was the last one for the good side. She was almost neutral. And what also surprised me is that uh, she's a rival of Sonic, of course. The only female rival Sonic has ever had, weirdly enough. And is the one that can stand up to him. And it's pretty fast, but not as fast as Sonic. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, she actually was taught friendship 
By all characters, it had to be Cream. Cream was the one that showed her friendship. Otherwise, if Cream would have never done that, who knows what she would be like today. Maybe, uh, not so, uh, friendly. But still, a very likable Sonic character, and one of the most liked Sonic characters. In the franchise. And every time I would watch, like, a top ten list of something, she would always be in it. Like, the highest rating she got was, like, six. Which I think she should be higher. You, you would think she would be. No. Well, all of her haters, so uh, she can go roast them. And, uh, use the power of the flames. Or go burning blaze and just wreck havoc everywhere. By the way, her super form is actually not super blaze, it's burning blaze. There's a little link, little thing about Blaze, about Super, Super Form. And boy, oh boy, she don't mess around. Yeah. Now, I learned this myself from yesterday. Y'all gonna hate me for this. But I think... I'm too scared to say this because I have a feeling y'all are gonna come to me and just like pummel me for saying this, but to me, it seems like uh, that Sonic 06 has the best character designs, except the people designs are disgusting. Forget them. But their designs, Sonic, Tails, Silver, Shadow, Dr. Eggman, Knuckles, Blaze, Silver, anybody else who I missed, I mentioned Amy. I actually never do it Amy's in 06. I think their designs look pretty good. Now y'all gonna hate me for this, but I mean yeah, I actually like their designs. Any Sonic fan out there, if I were to say that, they would, like, literally... Uh... Say stuff that I'm not going to say on camera. One example of that would be... What kind of Sonic fan even are you for liking something from 06? Yeah, I know 06 is the most hated Sonic game, and I know Forces is second, and Labyrinth is third, because God, that everybody hates that game too. Trust me, I hate that game. To me, it seems like Sonic 06 is one of the best designs for characters. And to me, one of the best Blaze designs too. Generations? has my personal favorite design of Blaze. Like, she just looks like the best. The best model of Blaze. Any Sonic game I've seen her in. So yeah. Now that you're gonna kill me in the comment section for that, let's move on from that. And I don't know what else to talk about other than just enjoying the race right now. This somewhat going by a pretty fast race. Almost to lap 20 already, dang. You know, I have not even been paying attention to the lap counter at all in time. I've just been talking. There are a couple Sonic games I wish to have again, like Sonic Mega Collection Plus, Sonic Heroes, Sonic Unleashed. I love those three games so bad. Um, let's see, 
or some other song comes in just a little bit. I loved. Fortunately, do not have any more. I don't know. Those are the only three that I can think of. Amy, stop resisting. My brother even told me that I could beat Sonic R6. I even really don't. <laughs> no way. I'm not good at those kinds of Sonic games. I'm more of the ones like Sonic R, Sonic Mania Plus, and Sonic 3D Blast. They, if you didn't know, Sonic 3D Blast is one of my all-time favorites for Sonic games. It just barely, it's just barely in the top 10 of my all-time favorite Sonic games. And I know this Sonic game is in there at, uh, sitting at a wonderful number 6 of my all-time favorite Sonic games, but since number 7, my all-time favorites. I should make a top 10 of my favorite Sonic games this on Twitter. Like, I feel like I really should. Like, we all know what number one is. Like, I think we should know that it is indeed Sonic R. This is my most favorite Sonic game of all time. Sonic Mania Plus is number two. Get this, in my top 10 favorites all time, Sonic Mania Plus is number two, Sonic R is three. In my all, all time, in my top 10 favorite Sonic games, Sonic R is in front of Sonic Mania Plus. Weird, right? And there are a lot of Sonic games that I have not played. There, I, I actually, there was one day, I tried to think of all the Sonic games that I haven't played or have played. I think I named, like, just about all of them. No, no joke. I didn't record it. Why would I record it? It would be pointless. And, this is a little off topic, the Sonic Heroes, I can name all the stages. In seven seconds. About seven and a half seconds. Yeah. I actually did that one night. That was a couple months ago. When I had done, uh, installed the stopwatch app on my phone. And deleted it right after. That was done. I named all the stages in Sonic Heroes in less than eight seconds. I can speak pretty dang fast. Rapid speed. I have the mouth that is capable of speed talking. I don't know. Well, that, that was exciting to talk about all that. Right. Please leave a like, otherwise Blaze is going to come to your house and set you on fire. She won't be very happy. Just like me, I wouldn't be very happy. Because I don't, I'm not a very happy person. And I don't laugh much, and I don't smile much, and I don't go outdoors much. Uh, you can already tell there's already similarities that I have with Liz. She has a lot of traits. There's at least five or six of them that fit me freaking well. Or pretty well. There's one that describes not only me and her, but somebody else I've already discussed in another video. Ready? Go. That word is impatient. But I'm gonna leave you in the dust to figure out what character I mentioned about who is impatient. 
I'll let you figure that out for yourselves. Time is ticking. Let's let's just keep running into the snowballs. Except no. Ugh. I like how these snowballs are smaller than the ones that hit you, that one section. Thanks, I'm almost halfway already. This is going by pretty fast. I ain't gonna lie, but this course is a lot shorter than I remember. I actually used to think this course was pretty dang long. Not as much as I thought. I'm gonna embarrass myself when I rewatch this recording. Oh god. Hopefully, my viewers and subscribers like it. Hopefully, you guys like it. It might need a little bit of tweaking, but maybe I might be able to make it better or like a voice change. There was one time I had a dream where I couldn't even go to sleep, literally. I had such a good dang dream, I could not go to sleep. Strangely enough, it was coming out of a movie theater. It was Blaze, Sonic, Silver, Knuckles, Tails, and... There were, I think, Cream, and I was at the same movie theater, and I got to meet her. That's all I'm gonna go. That's all I'm gonna go. That dream, I, I literally could not go to sleep. I, I, this is not fake, this is true. I really couldn't. That's like the best dang dream I've ever had in my life. Alright, so we are at the halfway lap, but technically this is an odd amount of laps. So once we are done with this lap, I end it. And finish up the race. In the next part. So stay tuned for that. Because I'm pretty sure it's just going to be as boring as this. There's been absolutely no entertainment whatsoever. And my next race is Aquatic Capital as Orange. I believe that race is 80. And this waterway is 84. Oh god. I I don't even want to think about that race. Jesus. To the start finish line. Alright, we are halfway. It's kind of a weird place to end it. I'm still flying. Uh, be sure to watch this whole video. Check out all my other videos. And, uh, yeah, uh, catch you guys soon.